What's up guys? Got a barrel full of water. What do you think we're doing? Here's a hint. But uh here's the old sump. Oops. Um took it out. I've already been trying to like pull these out here, but it's a little stronger than I was expecting it to be. Here's the crack. That was along the back side. Oh, still got a little bit of water in here. Um so yeah, here's the crack that was along the back side here. And you can see the salt creep started filling this crack in. I think this is why I didn't have any major leaking, is this salt creep saved my ass. So uh, yeah, and I got salt creep running all along the bottom here where it was pulling up. But I think the salt creep really did save my butt on this. So anyways, <clears throat> we're putting in the new sump. I'm not, I didn't really do too much video on it because it was really hard. So. If you remember in my last video, I said the new sump was going to fit by <laughs> like almost nothing. So here's the new sump installed from this end all the way over to this end. And I had, looks like maybe an inch to spare. I had to take the uh, DJ power strip bar off in order for it to slide in. It barely fit past the uh, cabinet. So uh, I got to reroute my... Uh, return pump line to go right here in the middle because that's where the return section is going to be. If you notice, let me just kind of run you through how this sump is going to work. Let me get comfortable here. Comfortable-ish. Alright, so going to have the sump running kind of like it was before. It's going to come down through the two main drains here. I drilled holes into the top of this acrylic tank, put my drain lines in. Excuse me and we're running into this drain down section here so it's gonna go into the drain down section up through the filter socks down under this is gonna be the protein skimmer section then it's gonna go through the bubble trap into the return area now this whole other side of the sump is about 30 gallons and this is gonna be run completely independent of the drains basically you can see I got a half inch bulkhead back over here I'm gonna be putting a spray bar on that and it's gonna run along the inside there and across this back wall and I got a really tall um, baffle here with two three-quarter inch bulkheads drilled into it this is going to be my refugium so the refugium is going to run that with uh, it's going to come off of one of these manifold lines it's going to feed that half inch uh, bulkhead through the spray bar it's going to do its thing in here with uh, the Calerpa and the Kato and whatever else I decide to use in here. It's going to fill up to about halfway to that bulkhead. Um, I'm going to put some strainers on it. Um, and then it's going to be basically like a, a little mini Durso setup on both of these here, both of these bulkheads to drain down into the return section. So this will be run completely independent of the rest of the sump. It'll be run off of these manifolds here and it'll be its own little ecosystem over here of nutrient export. Um, I put this little piece of acrylic all across this, uh, this divider, I guess, um, just because it bowed a little bit. Um, so I just put that across to uh, give it some rigidity. So I got to drill like a four inch hole right here so I can reroute my return line so I can go down into this return section. Um, I'm going to be running some PVC off of these. I'm going to be cutting that hose down, running some PVC off of those and then into the drain down section so a little bit of work to go still but I'm so mad that I forgot to drill the hole that needs to go here for the return section so I'm gonna have to do that I'm not pulling this beast back out it was a pain in the butt so I'm just gonna leave it and deal with it drill it while it's in here so here's the new sump guys it's uh hopefully it uh it works all as planned it looks really nice um, I'm gonna keep it offline for a couple more days I'm still waiting I used some uh, silicone on this tray here so I'm um, just waiting for that to cure a little bit more it's been about four days so we'll wait and um, start filling this bad boy up and we get a little piece of foam too to put on the bottom here so alright later